Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to show you how you solve a simultaneous equation. So here's our question. What we have to note is that the x's are stacked on top of each other as are the y's. We have our equal to stacked on top of each other and then a number. So that's something that you need to look out for before you start the question. If they're not aligned like this, you'll just have to reshuffle to make sure that they are. So as you can see, our x's are lined up, our y's are lined up, our equals to are lined up and our numbers. That's what we want to see. Okay, next up, we look at the number in front of our x on each equation. So you can see it's two on the top equation and five on the bottom equation. So what we do from here is we multiply the top equation by five and the bottom one by two. So we multiply them by the opposite number, okay? So we find the number in front and multiply by the number in front of the x on the other equation, okay? Then we just multiply out. So five times two, x gives us 10x. Five times minus three is minus 15 times y. And then we have 18 times five and that gives us 90. On to the next equation, two times five is 10 by x, two times nine is plus 18 by y. Then we have two times minus 10 gives us minus 20. Okay, great. What we do from here then is we have to change the signs of the bottom equation. So it becomes minus 10x, minus 18y and plus 20. Okay, and now we go back to solving. So 10x minus 10x cancels out and gives us zero. Minus 15y minus 18y, that gives us minus 33y. And then we have 90 plus 20, and that gives us 110. Okay, now we just need to use algebra to solve for y. So we know minus 33y is 110, but if we want just one y, we need to drag the minus 33 under and it becomes 110 divided by minus 33. So we get y is minus 10 over three. Okay, now we need to solve for x. So we can go back up and pick any of our equations that we started with. I'll pick 2x minus 3y is equal to 18. And now we sub in the value that we found for y. So we sub in y is equal to minus 10 over three into our equation here for y. So we'd be left with two x minus three times minus 10 over three is equal to 18. So all that changed here was the value for y changed to what we found it was over here. Okay, then we multiply out. So we'll be left with two x plus 10 is equal to 18. So 2x will be equal to 18 minus 10 because the 10 will change to minus when it comes across the equal to sign. That will leave us with 2x is equal to 18 minus 10, which is eight. So same as we did over here, what we do is if we want what just x is, the two has to come in under eight. So we've eight divided by two. So our x is going to be four. And that's how you solve a simultaneous equation.